This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Betfred, or should I say Cheeky Charlie Parsons off the back of the other day. Gareth Davies Shannon, is back. Shannon, do you know Cheeky Charlie Parsons? No, <laughs> doesn't like you. Shannon Courtney doesn't like you, <laughs> Cheeky Charlie Parsons. You've got oh, the elf bar in hand, you're ready. Um, look, we're here in what is a very, very strange time. What flavour is it? Oh, it's out. It's uh, red lemonade, I think. Pink lemonade. Red lemonade? Pink lemonade, yeah. Um, look, Eubank Jr. Ben, off. Right decision, do you believe? Absolutely it's the right decision. How can you allow a man who's tested positive for a PD, for a banned substance, into a ring with another guy who, in a, in a massive fight that will just bring a huge stain on the sport of boxing? You have to have clarity. There's drug testing for a reason. And if you sign up, Charlie, as you would, to voluntary anti-testing, uh, the voluntary um, uh, anti-doping association, if it comes up as positive, why on earth should you be allowed to step into doing? You've signed up for the safety and efficacy of the sport. So it's absolutely the right decision. I can't believe they didn't call this off yesterday and they made the guys do the workouts but they've been in the high court today and it's fascinating to see what they've been looking to do. Eddie Hearn put a tweet out saying that he would not be promoting the fight with any foreign governing body whether that be I think Maltese was being spoke about Luxembourg and Germany yesterday uh, there was also a little bit of confliction between whether it would be a problem with you know England leaving the, uh, the UK leaving the EU and everything anyway looks like it won't be an option now but how do you believe it would have got a lot of scrutiny if, um, if, if that fight sort of went ahead under another governing body. No, it's wrong. It's just wrong. It's, it's, it's top line wrong. They could not go ahead with it. Look at what it would have done to boxing. Look at what it would have done to our sport to have someone who has a banned substance in their body having put a positive test out um, that they step into a ring against another boxer. It's morally and ethically wrong. The right decision's been made, but I think what they have been trying to work out in the High Court is whether there is, um, uh, there is a, a right for the Boxing Board of Control to stop someone working if it wasn't their test. I think there'll be an inquiry now. The details will be gone over. Conor Ben, maybe they'll get the B sample out and they'll test the B sample. Why hasn't it been tested already is one question we need to ask. And then thereafter, he'll either serve a suspension, a ban, prove his innocence, and then the fight will move forward. And that's satisfactory. For it to go ahead on Saturday night would have been, would have been one of the worst moments for boxing this country would ever have seen, regardless of whether people want to see the fight or not. Well, I spoke up to Eddie yesterday and he said that he'd known about it for a couple of weeks and sort of teams for people from Team Wasserman, Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, knew about this. Obviously it came out. Um, I believe the war board would have had to be made aware of that back in August. Um, are you a little bit surprised that it's only been a problem for the board since it's come out publicly? Well, I think what happened was they spoke to Chris Eubank Jr. about it behind the scenes. He knew about it and he accepted it. And he accepted their reasons and said, look, I want to go ahead with it. Maybe he does because he doesn't think Conor Ben can hurt him. He's a fighter. But his own safety is at risk here. You know, if something happens to him, it's his safety, but it's the safety of the entire sport. You know, um, it has to be safety first. It has to be boxers first. Boxers need to be protected from themselves sometimes. And he is being protected from himself here, whether he likes it or not. Um, so therefore, they've obviously talked about it behind the scenes. They've accepted it. But when it was leaked and it came out yesterday, and I knew about it as well, when it came out, um, I didn't know who it was, but I knew one of them had tested positive. When it came out, it forced the hand of everyone involved. And we saw what Dazone, Wasserman and Matchroom wanted to do. They wanted to press on with the event. It's an enormous event. It's grown legs. It's a huge event. It's a historical event between the sons of two warring fathers who caused... 17 million people in the country to watch their fights 30 years ago before you were even born yeah so cheeky charlie parsons the key is the right decisions been made here the case needs to be clarified it's disappointing for everyone there's people gathered around here all on the undercard some of the fighters have gone home already some have a massive media turnout today 
because it's a very unusual situation. But the right, I can't repeat it enough, the right decision's been made for the morality of the sport. Where does this leave sort of discussions going forward? Because there's obviously been a lot of speak on social media in the last 24 hours, off the back of an announcement that we're, what we've had. Um, you know, where, where do we go forward from this? Because it's caused so much controversy and it's not something that's going to be forgotten anytime soon. And not all the uproar that's happened with it yesterday, the fight was on today, not. Like, it's all, all a bit scrambled. Where, where does, in a media perspective, an opinion from the fans, where do we go from here to, I suppose, put, put a good image on us? Well, boxers are randomly tested. UCAD are the official governing uh, body, Boxing Border Controls, testers in the UK. VADA is what the guys sign up to additionally. They will have both signed that voluntarily, and but additionally, but voluntarily in the contract. Um, so there's a secondary testing process, which I think is a great idea. Maybe VADA and UCAD should both be officially aligned with the Boxing Border Control. They come under WADA testing, World Anti-Doping Agency. That's where this testosterone uh, creator, this steroid film, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but um, I've done so many interviews. Um, but, it, you know, this, this fertility drug for women. So maybe they have to come under the same roof. Maybe they, 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 they do take on board other tests. So um, I don't know what's happening here behind us with Dean. Zora is on, on the phone with Dean. Oh, oh, God. Well, that's war, isn't it, itself, you know? Gareth, just a final message to the people watching on Boxing Social. Well, keep watching Boxing Social. It's a great channel. The right decision's been made here with Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. I do hope the fight gets on eventually. It's a mega fight, but clarity and transparency are the key to the day here, and, we've, and they've won out. Gareth, top man, thank you for speaking to me.